Ray fishing. Welcome back. We're here in Anglesey. We're, uh, who's here? Yeah. Sorry, I'm being interrupted by my rude fishing companion. Um, welcome back, guys. And we are ray fishing on Anglesey Rock Mark. And in a matter of speaking, to a sunset that you'd be happy to go to sleep to. It's absolutely Anglesey at its best. Glorious sunset, but there is a chilly easterly wind. I am in a jumper at the minute, got my bib and brakes on, but I will be putting some more layers on as that sun goes to bed. So, ray fishing, eh? Time of year, not much options, not much to fish for, but there has been plenty of rays in Anglesey. I'm most probably gonna put a jinx on that now, and we're gonna have a turd section, but I'm sure we'll find one or two here tonight. Put it like this. Just a moment ago, I said to Daz, oh yeah, that's who's with me, by the way. Daz is with me. Um, just a moment ago, I said to Daz, if we don't get some rays tonight off this mark, then uh, we should sell the gear and buy some golf bats or whatever you call them. And some of them fancy looking clothes and take up a different sport. So here we are, both rods are out. And that there, is magic, isn't it? Don't know how much of the rods, yeah, the rods are clear in the screen there. What a gorgeous, gorgeous sunset. I don't think I need to do much talking on a sunset like that. It's absolutely brilliant. I have gone and casted over Daz, something that I'm um, making a habit of. He casted over me just the other night, so it's my turn to cast over him. I was requiring uh, three days. Can I show this fancy bait that you've got there? Yeah, it's been on the hook for two days, not even refrigerated. So yeah, have a look. So Daz is fishing with a bait that's been baited up for the last two days, must I add. Yeah, if I was a fish, I'd swim the other way. <laughs> That's how exciting it was last night. <laughs> That's been out so Fishing it on a dongle. Am I allowed to show you invention or not? Oh, I can show his invention. He's made this fancy little clip that goes on the bottom of his uh, fancy bit of dongle mesh, if you like. Tell you what, it's quite hard to see because of the sunset. But yeah, Dad's fishing on a Tudor. Looks like he had it for breakfast bit of sand deal. Now I'm going to clip that back on there because I'm a gentleman like that. So guys, we're out, we're fishing, we're targeting rays. We're after a double figure ray, I'm not going to lie. It's been a long time since I've had one. It's been a long time since Daz has had one. I've had about 30 rays so far this year. Daz has had about the same number of rays. I think Daz has had some to just over £9, I've had some to just over £8. So it's a lot of fish, it's a numbers game, and uh, like playing bingo, we're just waiting for that full house. On that note guys, I'll turn you off for a bit, and I'll bring you back with some fish action hopefully. Oh, where's my one? It's alright, it's my left hand rod. into action.
I'm not over you, am I? Are you on as well? There you go guys, I haven't got a clue if you can see me with the sun. So that's Daz's ray hanging there, and one for me. A ray each, in our first cast each. So, we're on the numbers game, we're looking for that big one. Ray each. Daz has kindly offered to take mine back, as he's taking his back. So I see, see how I said, kindly offered. Where's he going now? I know they went flying then, guys. Yeah. That's better. Or is it not? I don't know. I should imagine there's going to be quite a few fish tonight. The sun's now dropping off. It's getting cold. So, let's get some more layers on, eh? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I reckon there'll be a few fish tonight. I won't bring them all to camera. Uh, but I am going to do a little uh, baiting demonstration for a YouTube friend and somebody that's come a friend through social media has asked me to do it all the way from Australia guys so uh, let's give a shout out and a wave to Australia I'm not going to mention his name whoa I'm going to fall in a minute um, I'm not going to mention his name because I haven't had permission to do that and it's not something that I like to do but he actually contacted me last year all the way from Australia and wanted the cup with fishing and country life on it with Tommy Joe, so uh, organised that and got him a cup. I don't sell merchandise, but uh, organised it and got him a cup all the way over to Australia. So there's somebody in Australia drinking a cup of tea. Do they call it tea in Australia? Yeah, I think so. Or whatever he's drinking out of that cup with a picture of me on it. So, yeah, anyway, I'm going to get this dressed up with some better gear, guys because it's starting to drop now, get chilly. I'll do that baiting demonstration. Um, he wants the baiting, he's asked if I can do the baiting demonstration with my glow in the dark squid jig. Um, if you're new to the channel, you'll see what that's about. If you're not new to the channel, you've seen it before. Um, yeah, ideal. So let me get some clothes on, get dressed, and uh, I'll bring you back in a little bit. Tell you what, they fight completely different on a dongle, don't they? Oops. My second ray of the night. 
lovely hook with the dongle. Need a pair of pliers to get that up like. Second one. Pliers, where are they? The benefits of fishing with a dongle, nice and easy to unhook. Now let's get it back. Ha ha! Rate number two. Into my third ray, guys. Proper hug in the bottom, this one. Doggy hook. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, big. No, it's going to There you go. Number three. Three casts, three rays, it's going to be busy. We won't bring any more rays back now unless we get a proper big one, guys. Don't think you want to see loads and loads and loads of rays getting reeled in there. Fish on, does? Aye. Aye. Mm. A good one, or what? Yeah. Do you want me to go down, or are you alright? Hugging the rock a bit. It's not a bad fish, that you know, it's got a bit of thickness to it. She said. I'll go and get it, mate, yeah? Quick baiting demonstration um, for my mate over in Australia. So I've got my glow in the dark squid jig on a hundred pound snood. I uh, think that's quite a large hook on that. I can't remember what size. And a bit smaller at the bottom. That's like a semi-circle. Basically hook my squid in and through and out. Just like that. Bind my elastic. I do find using the squid jig that squid works best for some reason. I don't know why. I know it's a squid jig so maybe it's like the interaction thing of it. I don't really know but I do find it works best. Just go all the way up the, the squid. I don't go right to the top, I leave the tip like that. I cut the tip off, just so it leaves some juices and stuff access out the top. Then I get the squid head, which I've already pulled off. <laughs> and I lay that on there. So all the tentacles, not testicles, tentacles, hang down. Bind that on. So the head actually beefs the bait up a bit. Then bring my top hook down, go round my line a couple of times, through where I cut the tip off, go in and out. 
making sure the hooks are facing almost the same way. Get my squid jig, I bring that down. Then what I do then is the rubber plastic tentacles, again tentacles, not testicles. Bring half of them back, leaving half of them down the side of the bait. Elasticate them on. Leaving them hanging a bit. Obviously keeping some of them brought back. It's a little bit fiddly. Bring the ones that have elasticated backwards on themselves. Come on, out of the way. And again, over the top of that with elastic. Trying not to hit the sharpness of the hook and snap in the elastic. Going round like that. And then just finish it off on the bait. And all that does, it stops that from sliding back up the line. It's secured with them few tentacles. And there's a few there for movement. That glows in the dark. It's quite a large bait. I'd say a good seven inches, would you say? <laughs> yeah. Ten. So. That depends yeah. if you count the bait or the whole length. The whole length of everything. Uh, 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 good nine inches then. Good nine inches. Eight or nine ten. inches. So it's a large bait, but there's two hooks placed in the bait, and that definitely works. It does mean magic. So there we are, the quick baiting demonstration. Well, it's absolutely fantastic, thank you. <laughs> Happy days. The action's coming thick and fast. One after the other. I think there's one on each rods, to be honest with you. How fantastic. It's nice to see a lot of lamps out everywhere as well. A lot of people out fishing tonight. All over the place. Bit of nice weather, eh? Soon start seeing the anglers now. Where were you all in the winter when it was freezing cold? And no fish about. <laughs> nah, it's good to see out people out fishing. <laughs> That's as I. Well, I bet a real Mr. Raymond will win. A better one. Oh, it looks it. It looks it. It's doing the movements. Huh? Movement. Daz is in there. I got two rods bouncing away over there. <whistles> Bring on the fish. Is it on that ledge now? Do you want me to go down? You're all right. Putting that sentry under pressure there. <laughs> As you're dealing with that one in, I'll go and get mine. Fish soup. There we are, number, I don't know how many now, five, six? Yeah, yeah about six, I think. 
Number five or six. Reaction. Not very big raise. This is the trouble we've been getting. I'm well over 30 raise this year and I haven't had the double yet. Dad's the same. Allergic reaction. Reaction. Allergic reaction. Anyway, we'll get it back and we'll keep going. Daz has just had the best fish of uh, the night so far. Seven and a half pound, we thought it was a bit bigger than that. I think we've had about 18 now between the two of us. There's just plenty of them, but they, they all seem to be like three to four pound, the odd five pounder, but a seven and a half there. So yeah, hopefully we'll get a bigger win, but they're getting bigger, you mean? They're getting bigger. They're getting bigger. Well done, Daz. Thank you. Keep it up. Filming. So guys, we're getting lots of rays, and I mean lots and lots and lots of rays now. So I've put a bait in really short, a big bait, with my glow in the dark uh, squid jig, and a whole squid, and I'm gonna try and pick up a hus, or an eel. I've just had a proper couple of heavy thumps, and a big slack line. So I've lifted the rod up, let's see if it happens. It's dropped the bait. Definitely felt more hush or eel. Yeah, the faster bite, wasn't it? Faster, more harsh, boom, 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 slack line, boom, boom, slack line. Ah, he's dropped the bait. We'll turn you off for a bit. I'll put that back down and see if he comes back. Well, he's back. It's back. Can it pull it? I don't think it's as big as that one, you know. It's a ray. Oh. oh, you won't bloody believe it, would you? Yeah, look at this helicopter coming across the water out there. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't believe it's a ray, would you? Oh, that's a bloody good ray, that. Is it? Yeah. We'll stop the filming there, guys, while I land this fish. Well, it just shows you don't have to cast far. <laughs> it does show, doesn't it? Don't have to cast far. My biggest ray so far tonight, which we'll get on the scales now just, and we'll get a proper picture of her. As you see, on the glow in the dark, squid jig, lightly hooked in the corner of the mouth. I reckon she's about seven, seven and a half. There's a search helicopter out there. I hope everybody's safe. I'm sure Daz will flick the camera around now for you to have a quick look. Hopefully everybody's safe out there. Well guys, there it is. That's my biggest one so far. I think that's about 20 now between us. This one going seven and a half pound. Cracking fish. 78 on the ruler. Not quite big enough for the fish pool, but we'll keep going. We'll try and get a bigger one before the night's out. I gotta be honest, my arms are hurting. It's just becoming hard work. Not complaining, the fishing's good, but um, I could do with some big fish to turn up now. Thank you. Woo! Back in the car. And home is well in sight. Absolutely mayhem. 30 plus rays between the two of us and just absolute crazy fishing baits weren't getting five minutes out in the water there tonight and there was a fish on board feeling it a bit my arms my shoulders my legs i feel like an 80 year old man that's definitely hard work on a school night work in the morning and do you know what we're back in the car before 10 o'clock 
unbelievable 30 plus rays in a little bit over four hours fantastic fishing fantastic company thank you for tuning in i hope you've enjoyed I'm not sure where i'll see you and what i'll be up to next time i see you but until then keep safe keep fishing and keep chasing them dreams